Okay, let's get started. Good afternoon, everyone. <coughs> Thank you for coming. I'm Satoru Moria from Hitachi. Today, I'd like to talk about ironic and uh, cinder integration. At first, I mean, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Satoru Moria, and uh, I'm a researcher working for Hitachi. And my research topic is mainly open improving open source software, such as Linux, QEMU, OpenStack, etc. And yes, I'm a OpenStack ATC from Juno. And uh, my company, Hitachi, is a huge conglomerate company, and uh, and so we have. Uh, wide variety of business group from IT, social infrastructure, plant engineering, and uh, yeah, as you imagine, as you can imagine, we are a huge system. This is today's outline. First, I talk about background and introduce Ironic itself, and then, explain external storage support with Ironic. <coughs> Let's move on to introduction. The background. Our company focuses our business on enterprise system and uh, IT systems back in social infrastructure. In those systems, VMware server are commonly used to satisfy the requirement. Those system is really a uh, hard uh, requirement for about the reliability, availability, service availability, and the stability. And also it needs some performance, in particular, latency. But on the other hand, even in those kind of systems, demand for cloud is growing and growing and growing. So we'd like to use Ironic to deploy these systems in OpenStack environment. So what is Ironic? Maybe you guys know the Ironic, but I'll explain again. The Ironic is the OpenStack bare metal provisioning service. And it's like a bare metal hypervisor API. Via this API, users can manage bare metal nodes in the same way as virtual machine. This picture shows it. In the left side, there is a hypervisor and uh, it manages virtual machines. And it also provides API, managing API to Nova. In the left side, there is a ironic and the Ironic manage bare metal nodes, and it provides management API to Nova. So users can control virtual machine and bare metal node via Nova API. This is a simple Ironic architecture. Ironic consists of six parts. Ironic API, message queue, Ironic conductor, database, drivers, and Nova Ironic driver. Ironic API is a service by which administrator and uh, other services interact with bare metal node. And the conductor is a core component of this Ironic. And uh, it does the bulk of work and drivers. Ironic need to support various hardware and deploy method. So Ironic introduces driver framework. This is an example. Uh, for power management, Ironic support IPMI, MT, IRO, DRAC, and for deploy, Pixie and Agent. And similar to other OpenStack project, Ironic uses 
database to store parameter information. And it also using message queue to communicate inside the Ironic project. And last one is the uh, Ironic driver, Ir Nova Ironic driver. It is not actually the Ironic itself, but it provides an interface between Nova and Ironic. This is a bare metal node provisioning flow in the case of IPMI and Pixie. First, user requests bare metal instance to Nova, and Nova does some work. And after that, Nova calls Ironic API to create a bare metal instance. After Ironic API get the request, it sends uh, that request to conductor. And then Ironic conductor get image from glance and uh, set up the network. And then after that, Ironic and the driver turn on the bare metal node and install OS image and reboot. The finally, user can use bare metal instance. As I explained, we can manage bare metal server, bare metal node with Ironic, but unfortunately, we need some additional features to use Ironic in a business. One key feature is the external storage support. Many users in enterprise area deploy database servers to uh, bare metal node. And uh, in that environment, external storage is commonly used for its data store. And second key feature is network isolation. Current Ironic, does sub uh, current Ironic supports only flat network. It means all the bare metal node on, on the same network. It's not acceptable for multi-tenant environment. There's uh, another features I don't should have, but this, these two features are really essential for us. And uh, based on our customer's requirement, this presentation focus on external storage support in Ironic. As you know, in the OpenStack world, since they manage external storage, such as Fiber Channel, ISCG, and uh, RBD. And so our goal, supporting external storage in Ironic, means uh, making Ironic support Cinder volume. The supporting Cinder volume divided two cases. The one is boot from volume, and the other is boot from local hard disk with data volume. This picture, this picture shows the necessary function for each case. For boot from volume, Ironic need to following functions, attaching volume to bare metal node and uh, install OS image to send the volume and uh, configure bare metal node to boot from volume. On the other hand, to boot from local hard disk with data volume, Ironic needs attach volume to bare metal node and uh, install OS to local hard disk and configure the bare metal node to boot from Pixie or local hard disk. Fortunately, uh, Cinder and Ironic already support some functions. For example, the install or operating system to Cinder volume is always already supported by Cinder. And uh, similar to that, install OS to local hard disk or boot set up the node to boot from Pixie or hard disk is already supported Ironic. So to make Ironic support in the volume, we need following two functions, attaching volume 
and configure bare node to boot from volume. And attaching volume is common in both cases. So I said our goal is to support boot from cinder volume in ironic environment. This is a basic idea for boot from volume support. To boot an instance from volume, novel, cinder, and ironic need to work together. Especially, Nova should orchestrate them. Uh, fortunately, fortunately uh, OpenStack and Nova already has a framework for boot from volume because it supports a boot from volume for VM. So why don't we use it for VM instance? So let's use it. This picture shows the boot from volume framework in Nova. First, uh, user requests Nova to create a instance which boot from volume. And then Nova asks Cinder, hey, Cinder, please create a new volume from this image. And the Cinder creates an image and uh, copies OS image from Glance. After that, Nova asked hypervisor where the where we where where we connect the volume and the hypervisor answers uh, the initiated information to connect to volume after that nova asks cinder to connect the volume to the initiator and cinder attaches the volume to the initiator after that and uh, Cinder returns the target information to Nova. It's number eight. And uh, Cinder, oh, sorry. Then, and uh, Nova passes target information to a hypervisor. It's number nine. And after that, Nova boots an instance from it. The number 10 is, uh, depends on hypervisors. So in the case of KVM, Nova does mount the volume to the hypervisor and def define the volume as a root disk and start the instance. This works well only for VM. So what's the missing piece for VM node? Uh, here it is. The missing piece are number five and number nine and number 10. And number five is uh, getting initiated information from hypervisor. And number nine is uh, put the target information to hypervisor. And number 10 is uh, configure uh, hypervisor or parameter node to boot from that volume. This is a detailed picture. As I explained in the previous slide, there are three missing steps. One is uh, getting initiated information, and then the second one is uh, pass the target information to Ironic, and third one is uh, uh, setting up uh, node to boot from volume. <coughs> to fulfill these missing steps, Ironic should have following three functions. The first one is managing initiator and target information. And the second one is configure parameter node. And third one is communicate initiator and target information between Nova and Ironic. From next slide, I'll explain each topic deeply. The number one, uh, the, this is managing initiator and target information. This is the main part of this enhancement, I think. To managing initiator and uh, target information, we add a new table and uh, attribute to Iron database to store initiator and uh, target information. 
and also add the RESTful API to create, read, update, delete dot information. And of course, we enhance the conductor to go between API and the database. We already propose spec for this function. So if you're interested in detail, please look at this spec. <coughs> Second one is configure parameter node to put from volume. In the ironic, each deploy method is implemented in driver. For example, the Pixie driver and the agent driver, the virtual media driver. So we add boot from volume driver. It configures parameter node to boot from specified volume. And uh, it needs to control the BIOS or firmware. And this driver, uh, after the configuration, this driver turns on the node. And uh, third function, this is a communicate initiator and target information between Nova and iRank. Nova iRank driver provides interface between Nova and uh, iRank. So to support communication, we add two functions into Nova iRank driver. The one is get initiator information from iRank API. And second one is put target information to iRank API. The spec for this feature from HP. So if you need, if you want to know detail, please look at it. <coughs> okay. With this, with these three features, we can boot the parameter node to from volume. So I'll explain the deployment flow. Before the deploy, uh, we need to prepare the environment. That is, administrator registers the parameter node's initiator information to ironic. So ironic DB have uh, initiator information at this point. And let's deploy. User execute Nova boot. And then Nova asks Cinder to create a new volume. And Cinder create a new volume and get image from glance and write it to the volume. And after that, Nova gets the initiate the information from Ironic. The Ironic uh, get the initiate the information from Ironic database and uh, it returns to Nova via Ironic API. With this initiate the information, Nova calls Cinder and asks please attach the volume to this initiator. And after that, Cinder attaches the volume to that parameter node and uh, reply to Nova, this is the target information. And Nova uh, passes this target information to Ironic and Ironic save it to a database. And after that, Ironic, uh, sorry, after that, Nova uh, boot, ask the Ironic to boot parameter node from the volume. Uh, after Ironic get the request, Ironic configure the parameter node to boot from spe specified volume and using target information. And then Ironic turns on the parameter node. Now users can use parameter node which booted from Cinder volume. This is a current status. Now I'm proposing and discussing the spec 
for this feature. There are three specs for bootroom volume support. The one is a managing initiator and target information in Ironic. And second one is uh, Nova Ironic driver enhancement. This is from HP guys. And the third one is a new driver to boot from volume. This is, this is also uh, from HP guys. And uh, so it only works for HP servers. Also, we posted patches which implement these specs above. So if you are interested in the, this feature, please review and uh, give feedback to spec and uh, these pa this patches. I'd like to this, uh, these features uh, implement in this release cycle. And uh, to the next step, we are thinking of fast boot support with Cinder backend support in glass. Uh, currently, the image copy to the Cinder volume is uh, used, used by the network copy and uh, DD. It, it sometimes uh, put the load on the network and uh, I.O. So with this feature, uh, copy is, we try to offload the image copy to storage. If you're interested in this feature, uh, we have uh, another session to that about this feature. So let's please attend it. Okay, wrap up the summary. To support boot from volume, we are trying to three. Uh, we are trying to implement three functions. One is enhance ironic to manage initiator and the target information, and second one is add new driver for boot from volume support. And third one is enhance Nova Ironic driver to communicate initiator and target information between Nova and Ironic. And now we are discussing the spec and the patches in the community. So please review and give it feedback. Okay, this is all I have today. Thank you very much. Is there any questions? This is a clarification question. You suppose you would use the hardware initiator, I schedule initiator in that case, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, in, that, in this talk, uh, I only talk about the hardware initiator, but we can support the software initiator, I schedule case, uh, but we need some enhancement. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I did some investigation, thank you. And in the case of use of hardware initiator, you need some hardware support to configure the initiator You're from right. the network, right. right? So I suspect there would be a lot of compatibility problem between hardware vendors. Yes, yes. So we, we, we <laughs> develop the driver for each hardware, I think, each vendor. OK, thank you. Hi, I have several questions from the Cinder. Yep. Uh, first of all, I would like to ask you to attend our meetup on Friday. We'll discuss something related to it. Sure. And uh, what about security issues? Because if Ironic Instance will access to storage network, what about multi-tenant networks? How do you handle it? So. You, you ask me the multi-tenant network support? Yeah. I think there's another session in the <laughs> <laughs> next, next room from the Devananda or Gerald or PTL. So I think you can, uh, you can ask them. OK. Uh, <laughs> did you try to make it working without Nova? Because in Cinder, we want to attach and boot ironic instances without Nova support. 
Did you try something like it? Mm, at this point, I don't have the requirement that case. So I think you or other guys propose the, that kind of future. So I think we need to discuss about it. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Any other question? Or just one brief question. Yep. Have you thought about doing this without adding a database to the to the ironic model by using instance info <coughs> or one of the other fields that ironic provides to hold in information like this? Mm, I think we are discussing the how to Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.